This is Google Apps Updates Roundup number 97. In this episode, I will show you more than 25 new features in 10 different Google Apps. So make sure all your Google Apps are up to date and let me show you what's new. Before starting, let me remind you that all the wallpapers you see in this video are part of the Wallpapers by In-Depth Thick Reviews app that you will find its Play Store download link in the description. And now let's get back to Google Apps. I will start with Google Photos and here I'm going to show you four new changes. The first one is under the main page. Google replaced the partner sharing button next to the profile menu with a new notifications button. Tapping on it will show you all the activities related to your albums in a list view. Not only this, but when you tap on the ellipses at the top right corner, here you can check the sharing activity and it will show you the shared links. You can check the shared memories and also the conversations you had. On top of this, you can also access the conversations directly from here if you want. Moving to the memories, I got this new compact layout that you can see in all the memories I have. And this is the old design, but you still have the flexibility to move between the two designs by tapping on the ellipses and then a change layout. It will revert back to the same big design as before. But if you want to make it smaller, tap the ellipses again and then change layout. Moving to the collections, I also got this brand new design with four quick shortcuts at the top. Three out of which are permanent, which are the favorites, trash and the screenshots. But the last one is dynamic based on your activity. So the last updated folder will appear in this spot. And as you see here, I have WhatsApp business. But if I did something else in a different app, it will change accordingly. Last but not least, the profile menu now appears in full screen view. And it's not only in Google Photos, but you will see the same change in pretty much all Google apps that have the same profile menu. The next app we have is YouTube. And here I'm going to show you four new features. The first change is related to shorts. Let's say you searched for a specific topic, in this case Android 15, and started to watch some shorts. When you keep scrolling, once the algorithm recommends something not related to Android 15, you will get this notification at the top saying stay on topic. When you tap on it, it will stick back to the same thing you searched for. And I'm now getting only Android 15 videos instead of getting something else. Now let me show you two new changes related to the comments. The first one is the ability to convert certain words into hyperlinks. I'm not sure how to achieve this because I tried, but it didn't work for me but I can find it here under this video. The second change is the new topics section. This one will allow you to see the different topics mentioned in the comments. And if you want to read about specific topic, it will show you all the related comments under this category. So that will make it easier for you to find the thing you are looking for. And lastly, the settings page got updated with a new design, which looks cleaner than before. Plus, you will see different categories to make it less confusing. So here you have everything related to the account. And when you scroll down, you have the video and the audio preferences. And finally, you have the help and policy. The next app we have is YouTube Music. And here I'm going to show you two new changes. The first one is in the now playing screen. You will notice here that the suggested cast option is no longer having this glowing frame, but it appears in black and white. The second change is in the more menu. It got slightly redesigned and it looks like a floating card, which is hard to see in this dark theme, but it's not edge to edge like before and it floats over the now playing screen unlike before. The next app we have is Google Play Store. And here I'm going to show you three new changes. The first one is the redesigned install button. Now you will see a drop down arrow next to it with a small gap between the two. When you tap on it, it will reveal the list of devices you have signed into the same Google account. But previously, this section was under the install button with the ability to expand or collapse. But now both are embedded in the same row. On top of this, when you select other devices, it will allow you to save app sync preferences. So every time you tap the install button, it will automatically install it on the selected devices every time. The second change, if you are a gold, platinum or diamond member, now you can use your points to get Disney Plus and Hulu subscriptions. And the third change is on Wear OS. Now when you go to your Google Play Store and head over to the settings, you will find a new toggle here called Always Set Watch Faces. This one will automatically set the watch face once it gets installed, if you have it turned on. Now let's talk about Google Chrome and here I'm going to show you four new changes. 
The first one is the new inactive tabs group. So for example, when you go to your tab group, you will see here, I have a new section called inactive tab, and it says here, not used for 21 days or more. When you tap on it, it will show you what are these tabs with a banner at the top to explain how the feature works that you can also dismiss from here. You can also close all inactive tabs if you want, or you can migrate this tab to the uh, main page by tapping on it. It will reopen it and add it one more time to the main list of tabs you have. The second change is related to the links overlay menu. So when I tap and hold on this link, now we have the option to add it right away to the reading list. Change number three is the listen to page feature is finally working in the background, which is one of the features we used to have a very long time ago, and then it got removed for some reason, and then it's back again with the latest version of Google Chrome. And when I start reading this article and then quit Google Chrome, I still have the media player in the quick settings, so I can listen to it while doing something else. And the last change is under settings. When you go to payment methods, you will see a new toggle here called manually verify every time you pay using autofill. When turned off, you may be asked occasionally to verify for security purposes. And this is the first splash screen I got when the feature got activated on Google Chrome. It says here, turn on manual verification. If you share this device, Chrome can ask you to verify every time you pay using autofill and you can turn it on directly from the splash screen. And this is how you can find it under settings as well. The next app we have is Google Messages and it got two minor changes. The first one is the removal of the border around the voice message button and it only appears when you tap and hold on it like this. And the second change is under GIFs. Now you can see this new carousel at the top with different tags to help you locate the one you want. The next app we have is Google Contacts and here I'm going to show you three new changes. The first one is the redesigned contacts list. Now you will see the letters in line and instead of showing in a separate column next to the contacts like before, the scroll bar also got updated with a better design that looks more modern. And the third one is the new individual contact tile that you can add on your Pixel Watch. It will give you quick shortcuts to make a call or send a message or access the contact page by tapping on the profile picture. If you have multiple numbers saved under the same contact, it will show you these numbers so you can pick the one you want every time. Now let's talk about the apps that only got one new change. And the first one is circle to search. Google decided to remove the camera shortcut from the search bar and all you get now is the mic the song search and the translate, but if you want to use the camera, you need to rely on other shortcuts on your phone. The next app I have is Google Wallet and I got a new feature called personalization. The banner says if you'd like to see more detail for future transactions, including the location where you made the purchase, you can turn on the personalization feature under your settings. And these are the list of things you will get after turning on personalization. And let me show you quickly one of the transactions I did and now I can see the location of this transaction right away under my history. The phone app also got a brand new audio emoji, so let me show you how it works. It looks like a Halloween bumpkin, and when you tap on it, that's what happens. So let me play it again to hear the audio and put the phone on loudspeaker. So that's pretty much it for today. Those are all the new changes I wanted to show you in Google Apps. Please reach me out on social media if you spotted any new feature to include in my future episodes. But for now, thanks so much for watching and see you in the next video.